Hi, this is a, a beginner's video for uh, beginner steel snappers, uh, but also a lot. We've got a lot of grapplers since the podcast, Dan Strauss's podcast. We've had a lot of grapplers uh, buying steel off me, and so this is just a, a quick um, bit of info that some of them already know and some of them won't. Uh, there's, there's plenty of different styles of bending and snapping, um, but certainly. Um, the bang for buck for what you guys really want to start with just to get used to it nice and safely is the snap steel because basically you'll just do the bend and then you'll bend it back and forward till it snaps you'll get a nice workout out of it and the poundage won't be high enough that's causing you issues um, you can snap long bars medium bars short bars mild steel hard steel um, nails industrial bolts they all bring something different to the game um, we sell our steel, the majority of our steel, certainly contest steel, is rated. We rate it to a certain bend and then it has a number on, etc, etc. This, this gives you sort of some kind of a understanding of your progress. And also what, where to choose what numbers you come in at. Um, snapping slightly different. It's not always down to the um, rating number. Um, and a simple way to, to, to exa uh, example to show that is that a, car, a bar can be very tough to bend, very tough to bend. Uh, so the rating numbers are all about bending, but it can be brittle. And, and likewise, we can have a bar that can be quite easy to bend, but it will last a long time. And examples are mild steel, like S275, is an easy bend, but a very slow snap, which is great if you want a, a longer training session on that. Um, mild steel like hot roll steel once again it's a very easy bend slightly quicker on the snap uh, cold roll steel as always a tough bend uh, but slightly quicker now snap um, something like rebar which is down here you, you, everybody knows that's just rebar and that's cold roll steel the cold roll steel is usually the shinier stuff and the S275 is the the darker stuff mild steel and the rebar is that stuff that you'll get into concrete uh, rebar is tough, very springy, but it br brittle and will have a quick snap, quicker snap. Uh, stainless steel um, has a tough bend, it also tough throughout and then tough at the end, so that's always your the hardest things, a bit more expensive stainless. Uh, right now we're doing a grappler's pack, um, so obviously you need some suede wraps, uh, you need something to put on the end to protect your hands and we use one suede wrap on each side. Uh, in that pack we're selling sort of like um, nails or bolts and we're also selling some medium length snapping steel uh, of S275 so you get a nice workload out um, and that's what, that's what right now we're doing you can, you can see this that, that one there we're doing right now that one there. Um, so what I'm just going to do now is uh, show leg protection the uh, reason why we have this one on is so that uh, when you push and open it, you're not pushing open on your thigh. So a towel, this is just a knee wrap, but you can use gaffer tape. Loads of people use gaffer tape or any kind of crepe bandage or anything like that. The wraps, I'll show you how to do those now. Uh, there's Samson. Someone let the dog out. Um, on my YouTube site, there's plenty of videos, so you better see all the different styles, but I'm gonna show you a couple of the styles up right now. So here we just come over here. So you'll have your wrap, you've got a, a longer bar, so I'll show you this one, and we've got a shorter, shorter nail. So I will just show you this one right now. So you want to wrap it, you can wrap it fully on, but we usually wrap it about halfway along. It means you get a bit of an overhang, it's quite, it's quite useful, you'll, you'll feel it and it feels right. And just roll it nice and tight like that. Not so skewed, it's better like that, sorry. <laughs> and then you'll put an elastic band to here. Okay, and I'll see the same on the other side. Halfway along, uh, nice and tight, and just pull. So this is your medium length steel, which I've got there, various bits. And you'll have a, just get yourself another bar, uh, another sort of towel, sorry. And you'll set your clock running, because it's nice to know. This is, and then to do the first bend, 
is usually underneath the knee or you can even pull against the knee like that so pull back using your lats but it's just as easy like this like that so you put your first after that we don't really need to use that that's finished and now you'll squeeze it to go heels want to be as close together as possible but when it's a little bit wider they'll, your, your heels will be just to probably about there up in squeeze in okay now this here this hand's pushing down the tricep push and this hand's pulling now depending on where your strengths are lie you'll be a bigger puller or you'll be a bigger pusher and also it will depend on what side it feels good so here there and you want to go to about that distance especially with the s275 or mile seal you don't want to go too far it'll kind of stop if you go too far sometimes it will stop and you'll get a second bend that's not helpful and then you'll basically go in and then go out and then go in and then basically you're carrying this on till it snaps now um don't touch it it gets hot oh yes it gets hot in the middle now you can do this in among any kind of circuits which i was going to talk about in a second but you, say for instance you wanted to have this in a circuit so you could go 10 in and out that's that's one and you could do high knees or any other exercise you want to do burpees bench press anything and then back to it and that will mean it will elongate it or take your heart rate up so there's many ways you can train on this particular stuff so i'm going to show you um a sh shorter bar no, this is a bit baggy i'll just slide it over the end it doesn't really matter <clears throat> i'll just rewrap this one <laughs> Now, shorter is things that make steel hard to even bend. Uh, the length, if it's really short, it's harder. Uh, the strength, the width, the thickness, and the kinds of steel. So all these things have a, uh, a bearing on how hard that thing is. So we've got the six inch nail here. And one of the exercises I, 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 I tell you about, you can see plenty of the videos of me doing it is uh, the snapping with the back on the floor. You doing that now? Yeah, so I'll just do it now. So, uh, tell, there we go. Ooh. So, clearly, for you guys who are grapplers, this is a fun way. It's yeah, not so, fun. <coughs> it is fun. <laughs> so, like so, you can just do the first bend here, just pull against here, like that. You've got, you don't need a massive bend on, and you'll take it in between your legs now. Like so, and squeeze together, like that. So now you're fully in like that, and now open, squeeze, open, just like that. It's a great exercise, especially when you start really going on hard stuff. Um, find this one quite nice on just on small bits. pretty quick yeah about next one now obviously this is there we go that's very 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 easy for me um, and we use it a lot lot harder so that's what you're gonna find is that with numbers it gives me an indication of where your strength lies and where we can go uh, other exercises which are a real lot of fun neck bridges you'll probably just have a quick look at the videos you'll see me doing neck bridges just neck and feet snapping snapping in posterior chain in circuits like i mentioned before and with long pieces of steel we do another exercise called pieces of eight where we snap it in half snap those two halves in halves and we snap those four into eight pieces it means you get an awesome workout over a period of time now remember we use one wrap skin will toughen up it will be as hard as mine um in the meantime, if it's not, don't get yourself big blisters. That's stupid. Wear a pair of work gloves if you need to. For training's training. Put two pairs of wraps on. Wear work gloves. Or if it suddenly becomes sore, stop immediately so that, you know, carry on the next training session. How many times should you be doing it? Well, I do it every, basically every day. 
who are a lot yes a long a lot further away from you so to start with you know once or twice a week see how it goes uh, and on this kind of sort of stuff here do it on the Tuesday do it on the Friday something like that. Uh, and, and chalk yeah uh, I kind of guessed that everybody would have chalk but to be honest uh, well they're not lifters are they no they're not we, we have loose chalk and we also have block chalk I do like block chalk a bit better for snapping because I put it in there like that and also you can put it on your hands. It can stop you getting blisters. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, if you get sweaty and the thing moves too much in your hands, that's what can create the blisters. Uh, I'll put this one up on YouTube and Facebook. Hope everybody likes it. I'm always available. We've obviously got plenty of time now for any questions.